In this quick After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to use checkbox control. Make a new composition, I set minus 1080 by 1080. Firstly, I think we should understand what it outputs. For that, I use a text layer. Make a new text layer and type in whatever you want. I typed in text, very original. Then on top of it, I create a no object. I usually use a no object or an adjustment layer to host the effect. Right click and bring in checkbox control from expression controls. Click this lock icon so you won't click away from this layer. Then open up the text layer to see the source text properties. Pick with this property to checkbox control. As soon as you release the mouse, you will see the text becomes zero. And by toggling the checkbox, you can only see one and zero alternating. Now we know what it outputs, how can we use it? The most often used case is toggle layers on and off by controlling the opacity. And that's when we need to use expression. If you open up the source text, you can see an expression has been already added. At the end of the expression, type in times 100. Then you can see the checkbox control now is toggling between 0 and 100. Now create another checkbox control, right click and it should be just under effect controls. Press enter to change the name. On the text layer, press T to reveal opacity. Pick with this with your second checkbox. Press the arrow at the front to reveal the expression. And on the expression, we do the same by adding times 100. Now you could turn this layer on and off by checking this box. I usually bring this checkbox control into Essential Graphics and I export it as a Premiere Pro Mogut. If you're interested in the workflow of turning an After Effects file to a Mogut that you can just use in Premiere Pro, please let me know in the comments below. And with that, thanks for staying with me today. Until next time.